stop people to get the you know values. We need to stop people to die. Meantime, America's Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has warned coronavirus could harm the global economy. He told Congress potential disruptions in China... Many positive signals in terms of funding, and we hope all these positive signals will materialize. If we invest now in rational and evidence-based interventions, we have a realistic chance of stopping this outbreak. Thailand is the latest country to bar a Netherlands-flagged cruise ship from docking. The ship, called the MS Westerdam, is reportedly carrying some 1,500 passengers and 800 crew. Thailand says that while the ship won't be allowed to dock, it will gladly help provide fuel, medicine and food. The ship has already been turned away by ports in the Philippines, Taiwan and Japan. The company, Holland America, earlier said there was no consequences of this outbreak, of this pandemic, uh, are enormous. And the Chinese Communist Party is always one, two, three steps behind uh, what's necessary to deal with it. And that's not an accident. Right? That's a consequence of essentially the uh, modus operandi of the Communist Party of China. This is the way that they act. They initially suppress information and they lie. So by engaging in lies and deceit, they turned what might have been locally contained in Han into this biological Chernobyl, uh, which with, with which we're dealing uh, and will continue to deal, right, for many months uh, uh, to come. So the fact that um, they're always behind, um, but equally the fact that they're having these lockdowns shows really the scope of um, uh, the virus and the spread of the virus and how damaging it is as you mentioned, the Chinese economy, but also to the legitimacy of the Communist Party of China. 
right? If one thing we ask our governments to do is to protect us from epidemics, right, from disease, and here there has been this incredible incompetence and gross failing. I, I think the single, the single biggest issue for moving ahead is, again, the obstacle that the Communist Party of China poses to global governance and global well-being, as well as the well-being of Chinese citizenry. Uh, the fact that they're there and empowered ensures that we're never going to get the true story, uh, where they're never going to allow, we're never going to have outsiders who might be able to shed light on that, and that they're going to continue to obfuscate. They're going to continue to try to, again, lie and deceive. So the problem is the Communist Party of China, and that this is a problem for a government that tries to at least have the pretense of trying to rule the world, of being uh, a dominant force, the equal of the United States. This is a very, this is a significant event. It's a telling event. You don't want these guys running the world, right? If this is the way that they behave, and it's only one in a series of events. Based on the risk factor, and also based on the strong intervention of the Chinese government. <laughs> At the, this time, without any punishment or without anything, I suppose at this time, the government encouraged people to tell us things, what's happening. We really need to this. I suppose maybe, maybe, maybe uh, people will misunderstand the, uh, the lockdown of uh, Wuhan or something like that. But I, uh, I should say, it's definitely necessary to do that. I think that the, the decision by the central government is correct. Is correct. Is correct. Liango 昨天晚上我咳了一夜我不知道该哭还是该笑本身就是荒唐和不负责任的消耗他们的能量和生命最后社区成了泄愤的火药桶 
maybe is one of the reservoirs. 关键在于，武汉新型冠状病毒换掉了四个关键蛋白。第一，其目的就是为了伪装成 SARS 病毒，让防疫者难以分辨，误入防治非典的老路，延误救治的时间。第二，是使它具有很强的对人感染能力，达到快速蔓延和传染的目的。这种灭绝人性的生物技术是蝙蝠和竹鼠干得出来的吗？在自然界环境中，即使一万年，也不可能实现如此精准四个关键蛋白的替换。事实证明，武汉病毒只能是实验室人为干预制造产生的。这些年来呢，我们经历过和看过很多大规模的疫情，像什么 SARS 啊、禽流感啊，甚至包括埃博拉。包括现在在南美流行的寨卡病毒，如果用基因编辑技术对这些病毒细菌加以改造的话，那么就可以生产出传播性更广，而且致命性更强的超级病毒或者超级细菌。那么这样的超级病毒和超级细菌，它的杀伤能力，那真是可以和原子弹、氢弹，可以和化学武器相媲美、相媲美、相媲美。当然。最可怕的是，这种技术流到了疯子，或者说是极端恐怖组织手里。他们可能甚至不管能不能伤己，只要能给人类造成危害、造成恐怖，就会大规模的使用。我们现在看到各种核弹啊、氢弹、导弹，那个家伙它可能造成的杀伤效果是局限在某个区域，你不可能把一个国家的民族全部杀光，你不可能做不到。那如果使用这种基因武器装备，它对你的杀伤是选择性杀伤，我只杀伤这个种族的人，而且这种武器装备的杀伤没有传统意义上的这个炮火连天，也没有传统意义上的防导污滩，但是它杀伤是你的明天，不是今天。所以如果按照这些科幻电影里所描述的细节向前推进，很有可能会成为现实。孩子们，嫂子们，千万莫慌！武汉的板子不是只会扯了喉咙管瞎嚷，要让世界晓得那么的坚强。我忘了新开革命都是我们这里打的第一枪，疫情只会让我们打得更紧，暴风雨过后只会让我们搞得更加逆袭。跟着我在心中喊一句武汉精神，永不的停战，世界我们就会打开城。Stop people to get the coronavirus. We need to stop people to die.